Welcome, I'll be reacting to Penny Dreadful, Season 3, Episode 8. This is a commentary, it is not a market substitute. Please support the original. The night creatures will emerge and feed. Gorgeous shots here. Such is our power. Such mm. is our kingdom. Alright, Ethan, it's all up to you now. I'm really worried for Dr. Seward. Oh, he's fully turned now. She's about to start thinking maybe all this is real and not in Miss Ives' head. Will her kind of past life witchiness come out in time for her to save herself? You're not a killer. You should have listened to more of the recordings. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of there. It's beginning. One of the plagues. The final battle has started. <gasps> They're here. And we get a ship shot. Yes, show more of the ship. Perfect. What time is it? Two o'clock. I have a feeling the next few episodes are going to be so many epic coat billowing fog shots. The ambiance of this episode already is just off the charts. Look at this coat billowing fog. More. More, please. Except now I wish the whole show had been like this. It had been so pretty. Look at this. So epic. You're too late. Uh-oh. That was left for him. Oh dear. <gasps> How many of them are there? Oh. Thank you, Queen! Petronia? Haha! <laughs> the ones from my bite, Ethan. You know what that means? Yes. Is she gonna just burn it? Ah, oh, yes. Gotta check the box on this trope before the end of the series. Better than turning into a vampire. Who are you? We really ought to fetch a doctor. I know a doctor. Well, it's about time. I can handle the fog. That is not fog. That's what we thought at first. Uh, and then people started to die. Passed by the dozens. 7,000 people died in London. Oh it is not goodness. a fog, Mr. Chandler. It is a plague. I'll take my chances. No, don't. Please don't. Keep them safe. I really like that moment between them. Ethan recognized she's on their side. She's capable. I can trust her with my family, basically. And he just looked right at her and said, keep them safe. And then left. And I admire that about him. Has he not done the procedure yet? How long has it been? I'm afraid of some housekeeping to attend to. Yeah, as in eliminating everything at home. We are not savage, we are healers. In a dungeon. This is a hospital. And may I have a moment alone with my doctor? You should not be alone with her. It's true. Leave us. No, don't. She is very dangerous. I mean, I'm kind of on her side, but also, Victor, please be careful. I warned you. This fog can't be good for his son, who's already ill. I've been thinking perhaps we might return to our old home. I don't know how to swim. I'll teach you. Oh, it's easy. too adorable. <coughs> And this is what I was worried about. <laughs> you better go now. He's not making it through this episode, is he? Would you try to eat more? Would you help me to bed? This is starting to feel like a Dickens novel. Well, they're all about to die. Get out. Where is she? 
I would go now. Go. No man could defeat her. <laughs> now you've messed up his shirt. Yes. Good idea, ladies. You have glimpsed at liberty, and that is more than most ever know. Go back to your short little life. She's choosing death. I would rather, rather die here back. on my feet than live a lifetime on my knees. <laughs> yep. At least he made it quick. Called away he was, but I can take you to him. No. Won't you follow me, sir? He's just gonna bring Ethan to see Vanessa. Or what's left of Vanessa. Don't follow the kid. <sighs> Get this man some whiskey. That's rather a long story. Then tell it. I will. If you sit. <laughs> Why is it men always resist doing what's best for them if they think it makes them look weak? Sit. <laughs> Please. There's a lot of tension between those two. Do I look like an undertaker? No, you look like... Someone I'd want to ask out? I'm looking for Vanessa Ives. <gasps> Who are you? A friend. Come in. <laughs> you must be Sir Malcolm Murray. I'm not at liberty to discuss my relationship with her. Then I urge you to find that <laughs> liberty. It's all coming together. I would rather die who I am than live as your demure little wife. You and I mm -hmm. will be happy. Resurrected to be given to your creature to spare your life. But even that She's not wrong. <laughs> I got the lightning going. Maybe that's what they were waiting for. You created life. So let it live. That was a beautiful line. Not to bring religion into it, but this is always a fascinating idea of Christianity or any religion where there is a creator being. If there's really a powerful being, why don't they help the children starving in the streets, stop the violence, things like that. The most compelling argument I've heard is what she just said, free will of the creation. Even if what the creation is doing is violent and horrifying, it's always better to let the soul you made be who they are. Is it the right of the creator, in this case Frankenstein, to interfere? The larger scale of this moment, who's right here? And what if it's both of them? And that is the conundrum we end up with when there is a creator deity. But let her be who she is! I can take away mm -hmm. the pain. There are scars that make us who we are, but without them we don't exist. Love is too small a word for what I felt for my little girl. Mm -hmm. When he was done, he didn't want to pay. He struck me. I saw the world fall on its side. <laughs> Why didn't I just get up? It was all I had to do, just get up. Get fucking up! It was like when I woke up. When she got back, her daughter was gone. The fire was out. Was out. She died alone. Her name was Sarah. Please don't take it from me. Victor. <laughs> it is too easy being monsters. Oh. Let us try to be human. Wow, what a scene. Mm -hmm. The creatures of the night. You do love her. I can see it in you. I will save her. If she 
she is saved. <sighs> oh. Well, you have a moon now. This is what you were made to do. <gasps> what? I mean, in hindsight, it makes sense. This is amazing. Yeah, you better run, little vampire boy. The werewolves are in town. That was such a great ending to build up to the final episode. We've been leading to this point for the entire series almost. What a great fight scene. <laughs> and London being just under this perpetual pestilential fog led to such beautiful cinematography. This might be one of my favorite episodes of the show because we got that amazing scene with Billy pouring her heart out, her pain, her love, convincing Victor she deserved to exist as her. A beautiful moment. All this buildup, we're really feeling like we're inside the end of the Dracula story now. Dr. Seward is on the team. They'd have to work really hard not to just do a perfect landing. It has been set up for just an amazing conclusion. I really like that it is three seasons and not more. There are certain shows where you tell a story and you finish the story. This is one of them. It took so much self-discipline not to click the next episode. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs>